I call the shots, I never call it quits. Trust my intuition, bet it's right, bitch, it often is. Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent. Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get. Bigger than expected, don't second guess it, I let it set in. It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings. I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal. In and out different terminals, leveling up is personal. And I already made it, y'all can miss me. Smack my girl's ass, tell her pinch me. It's hard to believe I made something from nothing. No hindsight discussions. I've been writing, I love it. Welcome to the Three Gig Sports Podcast, where we are never wrong, just sometimes misinformed. Danny G, Miley, and Jim are in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. One more week of football in the books. We are dwindling down. Miles, here you go. Here's some gum, by the way. Said Ooh. you had a bad taste in your mouth, so figured I'd. Uh, <laughs> Hook you up right that there, That was after brother. he's finished with. After he was done with the deed, back at home. <laughs> that sounds not so good for me. Uh, oh, it definitely wasn't for her. She waking up forty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> no Anyways, doubt. mom, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> mom, how are we doing tonight? No shit. Well, uh, we definitely have some fun stuff to talk about. Um, talk a little bit about the NFL games over the weekend. We got some news and notes. What 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 else is going on out there, though? I got a – so, real quick, at work, a gentleman by the name of Chad French told me he could not wait for this weekend's games. I think it's I think they're both on Sunday. He's like, I can't wait. He's like, the more I think about it, it's like it's almost like it dawned on him right then. He's like, the more I think about it, this is actually probably better than the Super Bowl. Better than the Super Bowl, huh? Yeah. Damn. He's like he's like two championship games. They're both the best teams <clears throat> usually from the same conference. And you get two of them. Boom, boom. I'm like, you know what? You could be correct. Yeah, it's not bad. Could be correct there. Should be two really, really good fucking games, too. The, so The Godfather Frenchie has spoken. That being said, I'm going to pull away one of the whiskey wagers. Out of how many? Out of two, because I bet, what was the first one? You bet the Jags and you bet the Giants. Yeah, I bet two games with my heart. Mm-hmm. Told you that it probably, definitely one of them I said that Chiefs will probably win this. I'm just going with my heart on this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other one was more wishful thinking, right? Very much. Very much Based so. on the score of that game, yeah. yeah. So, uh, cheers to Lord Calvert Canadian Whiskey. I haven't tried it yet. I know somebody that has, and their face it's decent. looked rough. It's decent. Shut up. It's awful. I even you, oh, even Miley said it was awful. Oh, dude. Dude, the stench. I mean, Plug yeah, we're looking hey, for a sponsor. whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Plug your nose, Lord Calvert's. What he meant was he really loved it, enjoyed it. Doesn't it? Isn't it so smooth on the way down? I'm telling you, man. So smooth, dude. It has a horrible aftertaste too. So it burns. It has a horrible aftertaste. Actually, you know, now that you say, it, didn't we double up on those bets? I think yeah, we I thought they were double shot. We I did. Thought they were. No, we didn't. I didn't even look. Did he fill that shot glass? There's oh, not did. much. Gone. No, you know what? He didn't. It wasn't flush. Oh. That's actually like a. Is he breaking rules? That's a party foul, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. You better. Uh, I don't know what if the camera. What I do to saw. you? I don't know if the camera. Oh, saw I, just, I just. Oh, went. you're trying to suck his ass because he because you guys <laughs> forgot what each other looked like because you missed an episode. <laughs> uh, anyways, Danny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right uh, on. Well, one one warm whiskey wager down. We'll do another one a little bit later. So for sure. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why, Lord Calvert over there? There's people that like that stuff. Okay. Don't care. There's people that like rich and rare, and there's people that like that. What's that other Hawkeye bar? vodka? What was that other dog shit we had? <laughs> the uh, ten high. Ten high. Yeah. Never even heard of it. There was people that had. And yeah, they, it was ten guys high that made it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was so gross. Rough. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll start with some NFL news, and that is uh, a year later, the Patriots finally hire an offensive coordinator, a true one. That is Mr. Bill O'Brien is returning to the Patriots after uh, his two-year stint with uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide. You think he's trying to go after since Belichick's got that job that he had? You think he uh, thinking he can come in there and just move on up or what? 
I think so. Uh, I I think like why why wouldn't you right? Don't know if you would have gotten another opportunity because like what what happened with the Texans when so he took bad. over the full because when he had the full reins like yep. the Belichick effect, it went rough quick right? Like he traded away like all his first rounders for one guy and just a bunch of dumb shit right? Maybe he's trying to learn. But yeah, right. How could I have done it right? Right. So he came up through the Patriot system right, and did pretty damn well. Got his, uh, did pretty well, went to Penn State after that. Did pretty good with Penn State. Kind of rebuilt that back up post. Uh, um, after the whole thing. Joe. Yeah, Joey P. And then went to the Texans where he did have success until he went kind of like desperate. Like he, he tried to sell the house for, for uh, to compete. Yeah. Right. And then back down to, you know, went to Alabama. I want to say down. That's almost a lateral move in some cases. Yeah, from the you Texans, know, no um, doubt. And then back up here to the Patriots. So um, I think it's going to be good for Mac Jones finally to get a true offense coordinator. Now, this is – I'm going on there right now. From this time forward, as long as Bill O'Brien is the offensive coordinator, we will find out if Mac Jones is the guy. No more excuses, no more BS. It was a damn good excuse. I will say that. I mean, when you have Matt Patricia yeah. calling your offensive plays, that's a damn good excuse, right? This is where we're going to find out right now, in my opinion. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, he's been in the league long enough now. He should have developed to this point. Now he just needs a good system to show what he can actually do. He's got some talent there, mm-hmm. so I'm with you. I see some wheels spinning. Yeah, just – Keep not paying uh, the running backs, uh, the Patriots. Ramondre is a pretty damn good running back. Yeah, but they yeah. just don't pay him. They don't pay anybody. They don't pay anybody. They don't pay right. anybody. You're right. Yeah, so I want to go there. I want to go to New England where they don't pay. If they get anything from the offense, though, mm-hmm. gentlemen, like they had a pretty damn good defense, right? Yeah. They always do. They get anything from the offense. They need a couple of receivers somewhere, somehow, whether got, it be draft. They got that one. That one will get a full season, though. Which one was that? I picked him up in fantasy this year. Not not but, Parker, right? Uh, who was injured for half the year? Was it mm. is it your boy from Miami before? Uh, is it Devontae Parker? Devontae Parker's up there, but he's the one that got no, banged up. This guy, I think, I'm pretty sure this guy was... Twy- Tyquan Thornton. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was a rookie, he right? Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was a rookie, so we yeah. don't know what he really is. You add offense. Okay. And you have Devontae they, Parker. They've got they some have, tight ends. You they got need, Jacoby Myers. They do need another wide receiver. You got Kendrick Bourne. Those are all wonderful threes at best. Mm-hmm. T. Higgins, not going to be able to get paid this year. Is he a free agent? Yeah. He's, mm-hmm. Well, he, he will be. He will be this offseason? Yeah, and they're not going to have the money to pay him after they pay Jamar and Burrow. Right, Burrow's not up yet, but you're a thousand percent correct. You have to look at that. Yep. Well, yep. so I was looking. Uh, you know, great thing from being from that area, I get to see uh, like Cincinnati Bengals sports news and stuff, and it's already coming out. Like T. Higgins knows this is it. Wouldn't it, he's a wide receiver one anywhere else? Yeah. Well, let's off branch a little bit here. Then wouldn't that? What about the irony there? <clears throat> Who? Who would love to have a 100% legit number two receiver that is a Super Bowl contender and might have just came up short? The Vikings. Well, we do need one. No, literally, like, they were the Super Bowl favorite. The Bills, bro. The Bills. The Bills had him. They just didn't throw him the ball because the Bengals had white jerseys. They couldn't see him. So that's why the Bengals won. Didn't you hear? Snowstorm. Can't see the Bengals in their white jerseys. That's why we lost. Is that what it was? <laughs> Dude, I've read so much bullshit on that today. Of course. Yeah. No, the Bills no. do need a legit number two. They, the, they don't know who the number two Higgins or three with is. The they got Gabriel. I know. I agree with you, but everyone in everyone in that fan base is going to say they need another receiver. Mm. I think Gabriel Davis is a legit two. I really do. I think Stefan Diggs is too much of a prima donna, which we'll get to in my very next story. Oh, yeah, you're... You're right on that. Both but them, both I think Ga- I think Gabriel Davis because we're talk. We're, we'll get. Let's just go into that. Okay. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Before you roll into that, so you're telling me if you're the Bengals and you have T. Higgins, 
Gabri- uh, Gabriel Davis, and then uh, not Jamar. Uh, Ty- Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd. Who's wide receiver two? T. Higgins. Who's wide receiver no, one? No, no, no. Wide receiver one is T. Higgins. Who's wide receiver two? Gabriel Davis. And Tyler Boyd's number three. Yeah. Tyler Boyd's a number two anywhere else. Can be, yeah. Yeah, yep. I don't have a problem exactly. with that. Exactly. That's, that, that's my defense. Right. I don't have a problem with any part of that. Right? I'm just mean. I don't have a problem with Gabriel Davis either. I, I don't think that's a good excuse, which will get to their downfall. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll actually we'll go right into it. Want me to want me to be okay with losing? Nah. Stefan Diggs tweeted, "Want me to be okay with our level of play when it's not up to the standard?" Nah. In his third tweet, he added, "It's easy to criticize my reaction more than the result." Miles, you gave me a little bit of insight, I do believe, about uh, like some of the locker room antics and shit right after. Uh, Danny did, but I had a little bit on that, too. Okay. You, you had, Danny. You, you go first, and I'll add to it. <clears throat> well, he was, uh, Diggs was gone. He was walking out. He already got dressed and was walking out before the coach was going to bring everybody together and talk and stuff, and so he had to get drugged back in there. But then he bailed immediately after that, and then there was a Twitter storm after that. You seen a video of him chewing out, like throwing up his hands and shouting at uh, Josh Allen on the sideline. I don't. I'm going to go two different ways with this one. So I think that's what he should be doing. That's what an ultimate competitor should be doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want the damn ball. And I told you in our group text, right? What did I say? I said, dude, they almost need him to play that crazy football like where i said where i was beating him down for it like that's their ultimate downfall is he like josh allen yeah josh allen he goes a little too he goes too gun gun ho gunslinger and that too many turnovers right some version of a turnover right whether it's be fumble or interception sometimes when it's not needed they went full-blown conservative and like he had like 150 200 yards and it was like all he was averaging almost like tom brady's number under six yards a pass. Yeah. Diggs believes he is the ultimate best receiver, right? That's what his belief is. And that's what you yeah. want from your number one receiver, right? Yeah. yeah. I want my receiver technically to be a little diva-ish, a little bit. Because if they're not, that they don't believe, they probably don't believe they're the best. Because you're not going to get a bunch of Jerry Rices out there anymore. That that type of version of a wide receiver doesn't really exist as much anymore, okay? Maybe Cooper. Okay, I will give you that. Maybe Cooper. Where they're constantly just trying to improve. They just put their head down and keep grinding, right? That doesn't yeah. really exist too much anymore. Even our guy, Justin Jefferson, has to kind of toot his own horn now. Yeah. Right? You notice that? All of a sudden, we got some grills up in there. I want a little bit of swag for my number one receiver. I want him to believe that he is open every single play. I don't want him to bring the team down doing that, right? And that's where I think Stefan crosses that. Like <clears throat> He already did it with Minnesota before, right? And... You don't think Josh Allen was going through enough in his own head? You don't think he's pissed? And he has to be, he has to listen to you yell at him because if he shows a fucking reaction, he'll get crucified as the leader of the team and an MVP candidate, right? Right. Look what happens when Tom Brady threw a tablet. The end of the world is coming, right? We thought it wasn't, we thought it was fair, unfair, blah, 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 because there's people that get crucified for Odell Beckham for kicking a net on the sideline, but well, we didn't, micro, you know, but regardless. Microsoft sales went up after that. But honestly, like, uh, I'm not too upset about the whole digs thing. Like you, you gotta, if you're that guy, you have to do better. I do think that, Mm -hmm. but he's a competitor and he's pissed. A couple years ago, he stayed on the field, right? Mm -hmm. Um, after the game and watched the ceremony in this year, he was pissed because they went the opposite, even worse, I guess I I should say direction. Um, for me, that what I'm more concerned about with the bills is Josh Allen, I don't know if this tells us anything yet because it's one season, but right now, Dable is looking really fucking good because he took Josh Allen from throwing a ton of interceptions with some yards and touchdowns, but a ton of interceptions to very few interceptions and a shitload of yards and the MVP candidate that we know him as. In this past year, he was one of the league leaders in interceptions again. And then, like, to your point, when he was dialing it back, 
it doesn't fit that offense. They can't move if he does that. They need him to be him, but in a more intelligent you, way. I you got to know when to. Like, yeah. All right, the calculated risk here. The risk is higher for interception. It's worth the risk because we need a little bit of that juice. You know, like we need more of that squeeze right here. Yeah, exactly. Right. And I don't know if they need another quarterback whisperer back there to help him with that again or not. Well, but oh, that's a worry. Probably dude. isn't going to be the temper tantrum of a uh, offensive coordinator they brought. In. Remember him earlier this season, like yeah. snapping off about. Bill started Louis losing games when they were allowing him to have the ball in his hands for too long. Look what they look what he did to the Rams at the beginning of the season. No, not a very good team, but he was releasing the ball faster than any quarterback by like. Point two some point two five if I believe, it was something crazy ridiculous, yeah. and they were winning when the ball was leaving his hands as soon as it hit. Right, they like were running. They like were running the quick plays. He was hitting everything in the middle of the field. He wasn't. You know, they weren't waiting on things to develop. They were developed as soon as he hiked it. He was giving his wide receivers the chance that they should have had in this game. Actually, um, with by going by the play and the timing yes. of the play instead of. Winging it, yep. Yeah, and if I am that, – that's my defense for uh, for Diggs acting the way he did. Um, he, didn't give him the, he didn't give him the opportunity, right? He didn't give Diggs the opportunity to try to. You have Apple guarding him, <laughs> and that's an apple tree. It doesn't move very well. Oh. <clears throat> well, I just saying, I mean, he gave up a fadeaway in the end zone to the Super Bowl last year. I'd be picking on that guy as much as I could. He's already a head case. Yeah, and I mean, there's a lot of things that we'll end up talking about in the offseason about the Bills, but Mm -hmm. one big thing was when your boy got hurt this year, their pressures was terrible. They started the year hot. They were getting a shitload of pressures, right? They were That defense was looking real. We're like, okay, this is going to be a problem. Nah, not at, God, what was it, like week seven or something when he got hurt? Ever since that point, though, they've been on the downfall. They've been dinged up a little bit, too. Mm-hmm. But that's a big deal. Um, but I don't – anytime Josh Allen and the Bills score fucking – would they score 10 points, right? Yep. He would have been, <sighs> been defensive player of the year if he stayed healthy all year. He had, disagree, He man. definitely de- deserved votes regardless. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how the – the defense was – they looked unstoppable at one point. The offense and the defense com- comboed up. It didn't look like there was anything that could stop them on the way to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. It was at one the, point. It was the – First six weeks, and then the Eagles came knocking in. How pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Vikings, that's where it kind of started. When the Vikings yeah. fucking came back with that massive comeback and that fumble that retu- that ended up being a touchdown to one, ended up being a touchdown, started that fucking ball rolling, too. Because it was at that two-game stretch right there. They Because mm. I thought we were going to get blown out because didn't they lose the week before that? Yeah. I'm like, we're going to get eaten up because they're pissed, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. They almost did. And we came back and took care of business as the Vikings, right? Something just wasn't quite like, and maybe it was, maybe it tracked back to that. I think it's a combo of both of what you said, Von Miller, the injury, and they kind of went out of the flow of the offense. They weren't doing exactly what he's saying. I know what he's talking about. It was like they looked unstoppable. They were just literally, you couldn't stop them. Even if you kind of popped him at the end of a at the end of a pass, everything was on a timing. He was looking perfect. And yep. All of a sudden, they weren't doing that. Yep. There's no damn excuses. If you are the Bills right now, any Bill making an excuse, any Bill fan, anybody, there's no damn good excuse. You have a top, and this is all, what I'm about to say, there, you, there isn't an argument. You have a top five quarterback bare minimum, probably top three without debate, but we'll say top five, okay? MVP candidate also. You have a top... Okay, and this is being conservative, mind you, when I say this. You have a top 10 number one receiver. Arguably top uh, top five. You have a top 30 number two receiver. I do believe that. And I'm talking about like wide receiver two, I should say. Like a wide receiver two. If you want to talk fantasy, like in in the form of fantasy, right? You have a top, you have a top 30 receiver on the other side. You have a top 10 tight end. There isn't a bunch of tight ends in the league, right? Yeah. So you yeah, have, he might be like top fucking six. So you say, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, though. Yeah. Right. So that's why I'm saying everything I'm saying is conservative. That's the reason why I'm saying it's not really a debate because I'm making it real conservative, right? Yeah. They have a damn good offensive line. I'm not saying 
I don't know where to rank them. I'm not going to do any of that bullshit because it's hard to do units, but their offensive line is not really an it like the problem, right? You don't think you never heard about it being no. a problem. Their defensive unit, if you want to go front seven, is probably in the top seven in the league, right? Just front seven. Yeah. Their back, their back half is probably definitely in the top half of the league, bare minimum. You have one of the best corners in the league in Trade Davis White. Yeah. Yeah, pretty damn good. There's no excuses. This team is better from every position standpoint than even the Chiefs. They are better than they are better than the damn Bengals in every position standpoint. I'm not talking about yeah. receiver. Obviously, the Bengals receivers altogether are way better. All of them. You can make the debate that the quarterback's better. Yeah. You can make a legit Fucking debate Joey now, right? B, man. Uh, you can make a debate that um, the running back or it isn't a debate. Joe Mixon probably is, and so is yeah. Samaj P. Ryan. Probably better than both of them, yep. depending on Cook. But they should be. You should be pissed. You were the clear cut favorite. You were the one. The Eagles are probably the scariest team in the playoffs for well-rounded all around, right? Defense, offense, they had wide receivers, they have running backs, they have the whole works, right? Yep. So it should have been the Eagles Bill Super Bowl. By yeah. if you put it all on paper. So you should be pissed if you're a Bills fan. No excuses though. You have literally none. Like there you had a couple banged up. Everyone was banged up. Every team has been banged up. Everyone's missing players. Yeah. There's teams that should have made the playoffs, but they missed they Well, look players. at the Bengals. Their offensive line's back to what it was last year, right? They had no business. What are the odds? You're right. Stay Dig should be pissed. I, I get it, yeah. right? I'm with you on that. What are the odds? We talk about this all the time, like the hot team that comes in the playoffs, right? And mm. fucking that's what you have to be scared of. Two years in a row it ends up being the Bengals that are that hot team that feel like they can nobody can beat them and they fucking roll. That that shouldn't be a thing. Everybody should be ready for that, you know? It's so wild to me. Miles, he just gave you the volley. Who did you tweet at earlier off of our account? Joe Nixon. And what did you say? Hasn't lost the game since he took that quarter on the field. <laughs> uh, if there's anything uh, that I've learned about the Bengals, uh, Joe Burrow was not a swing and a miss. They tried to bolster the O-line. Um, I'm just going to tell you that division they play in, you're never going to enter the playoffs with everybody. <laughs> you know, right. they beat each other It's up. just yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you have to do the next man up method for the Bengals. And, boy, when they're hitting on all cylinders, that's a scary team. That I, I hate to say it, but that that's a team that we're going to be talking about for years. You know who uh, is Zach Taylor, mm-hmm. right? Yep. He doesn't get talked about enough. He doesn't. I didn't give. We him need to give. Res- yeah, we need to give that motherfucker a lot of credit, man. Yeah. I didn't give him enough respect a couple of years ago. Remember, I was kind of talking down about him. And everything he like, they were winning in spite of him. Like they, they had too much talent versus what he was. Well, you know what? Well, Joe I gotta, Burrow tore his ACL. No, no, no. I'm talking about when he had Burrow too. No, but like I think his first season with the Bengals, Joe Burrow tore his ACL. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about when he got Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Right when he when he got. No, he's know, saying he was I'm dogging on it when of, everybody was. Yes, him. even oh, when they were winning, okay, I was okay. dogging on. I'm like they were winning in spite of like yeah. their talent was so talent rich across. Yep, yep. You know that's where I was going with it. I'm with you. I gotta, I gotta give him kudos. Like, remember at the beginning of the season they started off dog shit. Mm-hmm. Rough, right? Which most teams do after they lose the Super Bowl. That's the big thing. Like after you yep. lose the Super Bowl, the odds of you even making it to the playoffs is terrible. But they started off like three and six, something like that, not good at all. And it was, we were talking about the percentage chance that they could make the playoffs, and it was like seventeen. Yep. So the fact that they were in that position to start the year, and they lost the Super Bowl the year before, the fact that they could make it again, man. I was going to say, like, if we rewind our tape, I, like, I, I got to toot my own. I did say, I'm like, I'm going to stay the course. I'm you didn't give up. Yeah. I didn't give up. You guys were ready to cash her in. I know Rio was. You were. I don't know where Miles sat on that one. I probably would have. It's like where that, exactly, where that one was sitting at that point. But, but I'm like, the only reason why I rode with him, like, hey, let's just see, you know, like, more than anything. It's But I, mathematically, I would have thought the same thing. Yeah. Well, what was you know? it? I, I was I was banking on the offensive line melding and getting to better as the season went, like get to know each other and 
how they block. Yeah, them. they're going to know each other in the uh, rehab. <laughs> uh, Joe Mixon tweeted out roughly three months ago, uh, you, you ride with us now or keep that same energy later. Okay. Like yeah. he said, when we get the, what was it? When we get the wagon back together, or ah, some metaphor he uses basically saying it's coming together, folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, uh, what, two weeks ago, he was talking shit saying that nobody can beat him in the AFC. He's like, we are the best team in the AFC and nobody's going to beat us. And he was taking a lot of heat for that. So far, so good, right? Yeah. You know, I hate he, that. I hate that that guy got injured in that game. But I think there was about to be another ass whooping handed to him that night. See, the it, energy was there. It was, and that means the Bengals got hosed on the possibility. Hold on, the Chiefs end up winning anyways. Yeah, the final yeah, game? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the Bengals couldn't have gotten for uh, number yep, one. That avoided anyway. that whole okay, drama, regardless for them. Okay, so they did start. They started the season uh, two and three. But they also lost two games in division in those three losses. So it wasn't looking too pretty. And one of them was the Steelers, game one, right? And um, they worked as – and then we weren't really sold because then they had Saints, Falcons for wins. Then they lost – then they got obliterated by the Browns. So it was kind of like right up in that mix, right? Now, if I remember – How many straight have they won? Are we at like 10? Eight from uh, maybe seven, can't seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cancel Bill's game would have been nine. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Ten if you take the canceled game out. Yeah. They were technically ahead in that one, so technically, in my opinion, you should have called the game as a win. Yeah. Because if you if you stop the game just like in baseball. They, they'll call it as whatever the score was at the point. But to get to what I wanted to, I am certain what I saw on that was, it's coming up right now, he only took one sack in this game against a Bills vaunted seven that yeah. I talk about, athletic seven. But I told you they couldn't see him. Is that why? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's, the, that was the a big snow, deal. man. Yeah. Such a – Downfall to have white jerseys on in the they, snow. They only had three. Yep. They only had three quarterback hits. And two of them were roughing the passer. I'm, I'm betting. That. I'm not I'm, I'm not even telling that. you the offense is so because obviously Lael Collins, you can't that hurts, right? Obviously. Yeah. This tells me more about the Bills than it does the offensive line. Either that or they got the swag up. 110% on the Cincinnati, no matter who's playing, you know, as long as they're on the field, right? Yeah. It actually tells me more about the Bills in this aspect. Like, you could not get pressure on a banged-up offensive line mm -hmm. in your house? I, I mean this when I say this. If it ends up being the Bengals and the 49ers, you have the two roughest, toughest teams meeting each other in the Super Bowl. Like, two teams that literally go out in the field – that take every bit of their aggression out on you on every fucking play. Okay. Like what I'm saying is the Bengals have that rough style that the 49ers have. They can match the 49ers on that aspect. In the mental side of it, but the, are you talking? About, are you talking about the physical side? I'm talking about bo it, both sides. Both sides, ah, dude. That 49ers defense versus the Bengals defense. I'm just saying. I think mentally, yes. I think they give. That's oh. what I was going to go with, right? I mean, they got Bosa, I guess, if that's the route you want to go. Nah, I'm not. A... They got Ward. You talk to him. He's the board, He's the closet Niners fan. The whole defense is stacked. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I... <laughs> okay. I meant like, they, I guess I should have left the physical part out. You're right. Mental, right but, mentally, but they think they're the baddest I guys did, on the exactly. field. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that sometimes it's all you need, yep. right? Yep. Like, they believe yeah. that they're going out and they have that swag. That's where the swag comes from. They think they can beat anybody. They're not afraid to lay a hit. But you, I, you, you watch the 49ers actually do it, though. Is that what you mean by the physical side? I think you see Cincinnati do it, too. Oh. They just don't get the notoriety for it, is what I'm saying. Like, the, oh. the, the, the image isn't there of it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Thank Especially you. when it comes to this time of the season, they've proven it now. This is back to back seasons. You know, when it got later in the season, both years, uh, they started coming together, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it kind of looks like. That we could have an interesting rematch. 
of a prior Super Bowl. They faced yep. each other. Yep. Niners and I think they've Bengals. actually faced each other twice. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, 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 yep, you're right. We looked this up. You sure? Yeah, okay. yeah, we looked it up. Yep, you're right. Because I was way Both wrong when I said I that the Philadelphia Eagles were the ones that gave the Bills their first loss. Did you catch that, that like yeah. 10 minutes ago? That is lost to the Chiefs <laughs> a few years ago too, right? So either way, that could be a rematch. Yeah. Isn't that who Jimmy G played? Yeah, uh, yeah they came back. Is that who that Ooh. was? I think it was the yeah. Chiefs. That beat them. They were yeah. celebrating in the Patty end zone. Super Bowl? You remember that? Not off that man. The 49ers were celebrating in the end zone like they got a interception or something with like 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter and then it shows like a picture of Debo crying or somebody crying. Oh the yeah, game. they had like the whole team out there in the celebration. Yeah. A picture of that. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Uh, Actually, it's a perfect little transition there, Danny. Let's go. The Chiefs are prepping for the AFC Championship game. Against the Bengals, as if Patrick Mahomes will play. Don't know if you haven't seen. He has a high ankle sprain. It did not look good. Did not look pretty. Yeah. Does it change your opinion on this game? Now, we're not making game picks until Friday. But does it does it change your thought process a little bit? Well, I seen uh I seen a meme. That says uh, Patrick Mahomes knows when Daddy's coming home, so he's cleaning out his locker, getting his all, getting his whole room re- rearranged before <laughs> Joe Burrow before Joe Burrow rolls into uh, town. <laughs> I, uh, I, I chuckled. So Daddy's hard been on the road for a little bit. <laughs> Daddy's coming home though. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's definitely got to change your opinion on the game. Uh, Unless the, you're Chris Collinsworth. Uh, no <laughs> yeah, but I mean. It sucks there's people like him because Patty's great, man. But you feel like he gets credit too much, so you can't keep giving him more credit, right. you know? So, like, he feels like you got to throw the reins back a little bit. Yeah. Who was uh, who was it the Chiefs were playing? Was it the Bucks when he was running for his life and he had that one amazing Superman pass that you have no idea how he – was it the Bucks that they were playing in that game? You're talking about the Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I think the Bengals are going to be coming at him knowing about that ankle, and they're going to test him. Yeah, oh man, I feel for him right now because it's not gonna be good, dude. I'm telling you right now, same thing that the Jag- the Jaguars let this slip. They're all learning. It's a young and upcoming team. I think we, I think we saw from the Jaguars a team that is gonna be more regularly competing for the playoffs year in year out from here on out, right? As long as they keep building it the right way, and I think they are. They have a lot of young pieces. They're all gonna come up. They messed up on this one. Literally, all the Bengals have to do is guard Travis Kelsey. And I know that sounds, I know, I understand I'm making that sound easier than what it is. I get that. But have anybody else beat me but Travis Kelsey? Because that would, that would just kill me. Yeah. What did he have? Two touchdowns in the first half? Yeah. Yeah. Can't be stopped. And, and he can be stopped. So every one of those catches was in the middle of the damn field and nobody was on him. This wasn't like, one where George Kittle slipped by and that awesome, which we'll talk about, but the awesome catch that extended yeah. the Scots game and they ended up ultimately winning, right? Like taking a, going down there. That was a beautiful catch. He was covered on that play. Travis Kelsey was not covered in this game. Yeah, it looked it was like the uh, end of that Bills game a couple of years ago when he, you're just like, what? what the fuck is going on? Right, like what are you guys doing? Yeah. You gave, you're worried about the sideline. He doesn't need to get the sideline. Mm-hmm. He needed 20 yards. You gave him the 20 yards right up the gut. The point is, a couple guys, I don't, I don't care if you got to do three. Have literally anybody else beat you and then power rush off Patrick Mahomes. If they beat you by a run game or Juju Smith-Schuster, so be it. Do not lose to Travis Kelsey. And don't lose without bringing an attacking force towards Patrick Mahomes. You're blitzing. Yeah. As long as you have them covered up in that and then you lose, then I could deal with that because I – We'll see. It is at the Chiefs. You, what, how many games did you say the Bengal the Bengals? They've won three him? straight. He's won three straight there. Yeah, three straight, and they've been in KC because last year in the playoffs, this year at KC at home just during regular season, and then now this will be no. So there's one more further back than than I'm thinking of. But yep. yeah, they've won three straight, so this will be the fourth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what? fucking sick. Yeah, 
That catch was awesome. He's looking at the uh, Kittle catch. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I, I, I saw that live, and I was freaking out, dude. I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah, and, he, and that wouldn't have been a catch ten years ago. No, he'd have got smoked right. W- Man, he ducked perfect though. He, he still should have got he, smoked. He did duck perfect, but you know, you ten years ago there wouldn't have been a layup. He no. would got laid out right yeah, there. Hundred percent. Ed Reed would have killed him. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. Crown of the helmet, straight to the chest. <laughs> <coughs> Sean Taylor would have decapitated him, and yeah. I loved, and I loved George Kittle. Yeah. So, uh, if there's one man that can take that hit, that's George Kittle, though. The WWE future star, baby. There you go. Yeah. Giants GM Joe Schoen planning to move forward with quarterback Daniel Jones. That's the word, man. But I don't know if you, like, I can't remember exactly what his comment is, Miles, if you want to look it up. Daniel Jones kind of hinted at that not for sure being the case after the game. So we'll see. I, I did not see this. So I'm curious what he said, how he said it, or whatever. Yeah. But I, I, I'm, i like, seeing this without, without hearing that yet. I do like seeing this because this sounds like a hell of a lot more commitment than we've heard from the Giants to Daniel Jones in the last, basically since they've drafted him, right? Right. And he did turn it on this year with, and he still doesn't have very many. He just still don't have receivers, really. Exactly, dude. Right. Dable he, unlocked something. He did. He started late in the season, but yeah. he finally figured something but it's out. Finally, something yeah. there, and then if you add a receiver, add a receiver to something to help him out. Yeah. So he's turning. He's turning turning people's like uh, cast offs into like decent receivers. What's that one they brought over from the Bills from the year before? He was like like their seventh wide receiver or their practice squad squad one. Kind of did okay, but then he turned him into a pretty damn decent receiver there towards the end of the season. Right? Yeah, hundred percent, man. Well, you got it. Well, there's a couple things here. Um, Jones did admit I've got a good sense of what top quarterbacks around the league are making. Um, right now, thinking more about this year and this team, the guys and how grateful I am to be a part of it. Uh, I'd love to be here. I've really enjoyed being here. We'll see how it all works out. And the big comment is, I love this place. I've really enjoyed my time here. I want to be here. There's a business side of it all. A lot of that I can't control. I really am res- love and respect this organization, the ownership, the guys in this locker room. Sounds like a guy that does one out. I take it a different way, but I'm with you. Like I can see what you guys are talking about. Yeah. It is clearly, you're going to pay me with the respect of it because you also didn't respect me early on. So you're going to pay for the respect. He did get tackled by a turf monster once. He did. Yeah. He did. That was, God, he's so fast though. Even yeah. on that run. If you, fall down. you ain't getting no respect after that. Yeah. Well, I, j- I just I'm mean just to kidding. me, that's almost like you need to pay for the respect part and we're not, I'm not giving you hometown discount. Oh, no what? way. Top tier quarterback money though, not forty. Because you can't pay him the thirty five forty mil. Like uh, maybe he's gonna get there. Maybe we saw the 24? flashes, and that's what he can be. Is twenty four? Is he worthy of a Kirk Cousins contract even? Oh, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'd go there. Right? They'd be if that's it. That's where it's at. Then. If that's it, that's if just that's it, based that's off like, of this last six games yeah. or whatever. And I don't, I don't know if they do that. You know what I mean? Twenty twenty four. Take it or leave it. You're, he's not gonna go anywhere else. You're probably in the ballpark. That's what he may. That's what you're saying that the team should. But there's always teams looking for quarterbacks, and they and they're gonna look at that six game stretch. So the you, Panthers. So yeah, if I had to yeah. Bank, yeah. Texans, Panthers that are yeah. like maybe we don't go QB, we get Daniel Jones. Right, grab Daniel Jones yeah. and like a more proven. We'll put a bunch of assets around him, right? Yeah, exactly. If you guys had to put a percentage, what's the percentage that Daniel Jones is back with the Giants? 50-50. I'm going to put it right on, the, right on the nuts. 100 that he's back? I'm telling you, it's 100. Hey, he's going to be back? I don't think he can get what he wants elsewhere. They're so, going to offer him top dollar. for not. They're going to offer him his top dollar, not the league top dollar. Okay. If he wants top tier money, he's not going to be there. Right, yeah. If he like, and that's what I tell really you, Kirk what sounds like he wants. I'm like, Kirk is he dropped down. And I think he was at like seven or eight now, right? Yeah, like that finally when came we down to where he's like. Yeah. So, 
I don't see him anything above that. And then you're also looking towards like you think you're gonna build on to a, you know that little stretch here. Then it's gonna be more like that than it was prior to that. And you think he just needs a few more weapons. Yeah, because you're competing. You can say Cowboys, but you're for sure competing with the Eagles. Look how well rounded they are. You were nowhere yeah. near that, and it showed last weekend. So, I would have to say. I'm going to go a little bit more than yours. I'm going to go 60-40. I think that uh, enough to where the the comfort of like not switching actually could kind of break that. Like I'm I'm at home right now. This is where I've been. If they show they got to show them a little bit of love. They got to show them some respect. Yeah, they do. You know, they that I do believe that and I think that'll go a long way. Unfortunately, that's going to cost them a pretty penny. And I don't know if he's worth that yet. Yeah. I could be dead. I could be dead wrong. We could have just seen the start. It's a gamble, of, right? Yeah. yeah, we could have seen the start of the the rise. Yeah. So, what do they, they call him? Danny Dimes, baby. Danny Dimes. That's right. Uh, Cowboys. Not, not for the bags he sells on the streets in New York, though. <laughs> uh, Cowboys wide uh, running back Tony Pollard fractured his left fibula and will need surgery. Gentlemen. I know how you sit on one part of this for sure. I want to know if your mind has changed a little bit because of this news. We all believe that they should have let they should let Zeke go, trade, however they want to do it, and give Tony Pollard the reins this offseason. Give him the contract. Does that need to change your thought? Does that change your thought process because of his leg? No. Nope. Just thinking too much money for whatever Zeke gave. They're already going fucking home. By the time uh, mini camp starts, he'll be healthy. It's only a three month issue. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, was it like a yeah? Was it like a, a compound? Is that what it's called? Compound fracture when it comes right. out of the skin? It wasn't like that, but okay. I'm, I'm saying this helps his cause. Because he'll be ready. Yeah, he's going to be yeah. rested. Zeke's going to go out there and go. They might even get a little bit more of a discount. On, maybe on a Pollard. hair. Maybe just a hair. A, just yeah. a hair. Yeah. yeah. Probably going to want out. Hey, because he could go get paid running back money somewhere, right? Yeah. Could. Yeah. The, he, he's not an RB, too. We learned that. Yeah, no shit. Uh, I don't. There's a lot of ways you could spin this off, but do you think Jerry Jones has like a, a Zeke uh, like uh, what do you do with that uh, line? The defensive lineman, he put like uh, you can't be out. Oh, like a stipulation. Uh, yeah, or disciplinary stipulation. Hopefully, he's got that with Zeke. He's got Tony Pollard laid up. He's got Zeke out here doing nonsense again. Cut his contract. Hey, Tony they, Pollard, we got your money. I don't, I don't know. So, I, you know me. I know that it's the offensive line that produced that man. I know that. But is it also coincidence that when he became like a, a choir boy, all of a sudden his gameplay went down? Maybe he it's needs true. to go back to party. Maybe he needs a little John Jones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. John Jones was way better when he was crazy as fuck partying. Yeah. May, yeah. Same idea. I get you. When he toned down, he isn't quite the same. Now, granted, the offensive line also dissipated at that point, too. Don't know which way this went. We just know that something changed, and he hasn't been the same. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stick on uh, the Cowboys for a minute. You guys watch yep. that game? Yep. You were at yeah. baseball, I think. Yep. I so, dude, first of all, Dak sucks. I'm pretty excited about that. He was bad. But <laughs> let's go. Here's the deal, dude. Towards the end of the game, the Cowboys should not have got the ball back. That was a gift of God. Because <clears throat> Elijah Mitchell, Elijah Mitchell, I use fantasy footballers. They call him Elijah Mitchell, and I so I stick with that. Yep. Elijah Mitchell got the first down with like a minute thirty left in the game. They were they were it was like first or second down. Basically, if they get a first down, the game's over, right? He got the first down and ran out of bounds. Oh, that's right. Yep. And yep. so they didn't do shit after that. Punted the ball to the Cowboys, and there was about forty five seconds ish left in the game, dude. Two critical things by Mr. Schultz, who was really turning it on the last few games. He got a pass towards out of bounds. This is a new thing. I did not know this was a rule, but he got pushed out of bounds. 
He wasn't moving forward, so the clock didn't stop. Yeah, you can't just... So basically, he let the defender push him out of bounds. He wasn't trying to get more yards. I didn't realize that part of it. I didn't either. So unless you're continuing to go forward, the clock kept going. So they rush, right? They rush up there. Uh, the, there was also some bullshit. Like, McCarthy's awful, so I yeah. he fucked things up at the end of the game too, which that last play I'm sure you saw is a really good indicator of that. But then... They throw a deep pass. What was this, Miles? 40 yards or something? 30-yard pass to Schultz again on the sideline? He yeah. lollygags and just you know, nonchalantly catches the ball. One foot in bounds, Jimmer. Didn't even get both feet in bounds. And it was wide open. Nobody's near him. Didn't even get it. So then that's when they go to that wild fucking play where Zeke snaps the ball to Dak, who almost gets smoked himself, and then the wide receiver gets hit and the game's over. Wait, wait, that was the that was the last play of the game. That play was, yeah. It's right here. Final play. I'm watching it again. How? Oh, dude, McCarthy's gone. Dude, that was the worst thing I've ever seen, man. There's a reason why Sean Payton hasn't named his spot yet. <laughs> dude. He's like, in, he's like, and Mike, I trust. He will figure out a way to fuck this up. Here comes the play. I'm, j- I'm just watching this for a second. Like you said, what the hell is this? Smoked and down. Done. Game's over. Like, they actually, like, at no point did anybody on the staff, ooh, ooh, ooh. fans, anywhere, any of the players say this is a horrible idea. As in, because they practiced this play. They had to have, yeah. Multiple times. I seen this on a punt formation once. Yeah. Uh, the oh, Colts. he just runs right over Zeke. That's a horrible play. Yeah. Yeah, that I think they were gonna punt it, Nanny. I think they were gonna punt it. No. Yeah, the uh, Pat McAfee said that he lined up the two plays next to each other. He's like, at least we didn't snap the ball. Oh, did he really? Yeah, yeah, because they did, they ran some wild shit like that too. All the linemen were on the left side. Yeah. Oh no, they snapped like the ball. I can't. That's what he said. I don't know. I don't remember what actually happened. But oh no, they snapped it. Did they? Yeah, okay, I can't remember uh, the play. It was the, it was the Colts though, and it was literally the center and the. And, and the, the, was the, it McAfee? Either it one of the pack. guys they could have thrown to. Dude. But they they have linemen that can't go upfield, right? So you're not doing anything with them. Unless Zeke you, couldn't too. He had to declare ineligible. Right. So Zeke couldn't do so anything. So you took either. one of your, quote, unquote, pivotal playmakers out of the play. Yep. You didn't throw to a receiver to, like, on a screen version behind some big-ass linemen on the outside edge where there was only, what I just counted, only two or three corners ish in the vicinity yeah dude with big ass linemen as the like what you would want to run behind right right they were gifted this possession and on three different occasions just blew it how long it has been a few days does mike mccarthy keep his job through the rest of the week yeah he's got a man he shouldn't jerry jones is so weird they want a playoff game that's the big deal yeah this I want to read, like, watch that play again. Think about whether you want to keep him. Good Lord. To that, we'll go ahead and get the second nasty thing out of the way. How would I Google that, Danny? What? Schultz. Like, I just want to watch that catch where he lollygagged. Um, Schultz, uh, last catch of Cowboys playoff game, something like that. And then put out of well, bounds. not maybe. a catch. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe this is 50 cents more than 10 high. I can't wait till you have to take one. Oof. Okay. While you're looking for that, let's keep it rolling, gentlemen. Let's go, buddy. Uh, Connor McGregor denies assaulting woman on his yacht last year. So a little backstory to this one I read to you guys earlier is a woman, an unnamed woman, says uh, she initially told police that it was not McGregor, but another man who attacked her immediately following the incident Um, because she did not accuse him at the point. No case was open to McGregor's native Ireland, but now it will be investigated in Ibiza in light of change in allegations by the woman. Uh, Let's see. McGregor celebrated his birthday, July 16th at an Ibiza club. Uh, a party the woman said she attended. 
The woman said McGregor invited her into the VIP area, then onto his yacht with McGregor's girlfriend and friends because he recognized her as someone he knew from his neighborhood in Dublin. The next morning, gee, I wonder where, what they were doing that night. Weird. On the yacht. Uh, the next morning, the woman alleged that McGregor got surprisingly aggressive and violent with her out of nowhere, punching her in the stomach and chin, lunging at her and threatening to drown her. The woman jumped into the water to escape and was rescued by a Red Cross boat. The woman said that she did not accuse McGregor initially because she was in shock and had nothing to wear but her bikini and had no money or phone and just wanted to return to her hotel in Ibiza as quickly as possible. I, I just want the world to know when Mike Posner said I took a pill in Ibiza just to see if a UTI was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, it's cool, okay? <laughs> it's cool, okay? Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, not cool what you did to her, though. I uh, find a little uh, stretch there. It, you didn't have anything to wear off of the yacht other than your bathing suit. What What you else? You passed uh, out in your bathing suit? What else are you wearing on a yacht? Your bathing suit. Okay. So why is that even in there? No, <laughs> that's kind of funny. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Why bring it up? I, I don't know, man. It's We've seen Connor do some wild shit over the last mm -hmm. few years, and this is kind of par, right? Just all of a sudden going crazy. Miles, go ahead and say what you've been saying the when I've told the story a couple times. Connor McGregor's piece shit. Piece shit human being. Used to idolize you. Way to be a scumbag, my guy. You had, yeah, you had, you had life. You you were one of those people that made everything around you happen. Worked your way up. And right? now everything you have done, you're ruining your family name. I mean, to come from nothing and have it all, we all see what we do with it. You know, some of us waste it away. Some of us make it the best thing ever. But, man... A lot of this seems like so stupid and petty. You can only and... pay so much out in lawsuits, my guy, right. before you start going to jail or prison and you got kids and a beautiful family. Right. Right. <laughs> How many dumb things has he had? He had the he took the snatch a cell phone from somebody and smacked, smacked an it. old man in a bar. Smacked an old man in a bar. Well, he hit had him, punched him. He back. had another sexual case or something too over in Dublin or yeah. something. Yeah, but like you that never too. hear about him because he pays him off. Right. And then you have this, right? Well, the only thing I'm going to say is I, she's losing all credibility, though, every bit of it. Why is that? Well, if you're going to make a report in the first place, then why yeah. did you lie about it? Yeah, that's the one part that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why did you – you're like, you didn't have a real good excuse. It was that you wanted to get back and, like, as soon as possible and – well, my my big thing is unless unless it really was someone that assaulted her, and then it dawned on her later, fuck, I could have got some lawsuit money. Well, if you don't understand what I'm saying though, is I was when I was talking about the bathing bathing suit, is mm -hmm. she's kind of making it sound like, hey, you know, I got taken advantage of. I left this yacht with only my bathing suit. It's almost like she doesn't know how to set this up because she's trying to set up something. To me now, yeah, now you guys just kind of sell, yeah, yep. right, but. Connor keeps, regardless, I'm still going to go with Connor keeps putting himself in fucking precarious and stupid ass positions in life. Dude, whatever kind when of you're relationship a you and your wife got, Connor, I mean, uh, what are we doing wrong? Right. <laughs> yeah, but kudos to you if, I, if it's coming to, that, coming to the sexual part on that, all that. But my point is, is what what he sell his whiskey for? $500 million or whatever the, whatever the hell it was. His UFC earnings, um, his pro boxing one with... Anyway, Dude, you have money on top of money on top of money, right? Why keep putting yourself in weird ass positions? I'm actually starting to, the more we just talked about it, gentlemen, I'm actually starting to go, she didn't know what to put the first time. She's like, shit, I lost an opportunity to go after someone to get money. Because why wouldn't you say that in the first place? Why would you bring up, like what you just said, why would you bring up the bikini? You're on a yacht. Of course, of course you probably had a bikini on. The only other way you could have told the story is that you jumped off the boat butt naked. Right, dude. Right? You would have said it was Connor if you were damaged, if you were, if it was even setting anything else. You, maybe you are going the other way. I don't know either which way. 
we'll see. I guess. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna find out because if it's just him, his girlfriend, and his buddy against what you say, yeah, and you did. didn't say it right the first time, I don't know how it's gonna go either. Regardless, still shame on Connor because he still can't fucking get his shit straight. He can't get his mind right. He's a fucking loose cannon, not in a good way. Like I thought it was entertaining before. Like when he had the, what was that? The Khabib one at the bus and all mm-hmm. that. I thought it was kind of entertaining. He was like back in uh, him and Nate Diaz, you know, like against their shit, you know. I thought it was entertainment. I thought it was like, I'm going to take, you're not going to talk shit about my family, my trainer, shit like that. Now it's like he has a screw loose, like not in a good way, Whoa. a violent one. I what hope you- it's, I just hope it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, cause he went through that spell of bad shit and we, we talked about this the other night. We haven't heard anything for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I hope it's wrong. The thing that sucks is we could totally see him doing that because of what he's done in yes. the past. Right. Yeah. So we don't know what actually happened. It sucks that she changed the story. Cause now you're like, who do we believe? He said, she said stuff. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I would think maybe he's got cameras on that motherfucker. Well, it's, it's, it's you would think so to cover. So if ass, you want to so. clear, yeah. If you want to clear some shit up, it's, Kind of gonna end up being like a law. Of, I'm gonna call it the law, law of attraction, but it's not. But what I mean is, Connor got by. The UFC created this monster. The the, the UFC yeah. allowed him to yeah. do all this. More specifically, Dana. And they made millions off it, and they yes. made him millions off it. So now, what the fuck's authority to him now? He is the authority. You're gonna pay me for my fuck he, ups. He got Dana. He got Dana White paid, and I'm talking about just. Yeah. I'm not talking about just fucking uh, um, pay-per-view money. I'm talking about what he ended up selling it for and then ended up becoming CEO off of it or whatever. Interesting thing. Wasn't his sale for like... Didn't he sell it for like $800 million, one, one billion? He was Yeah, he was pretty close to the bill. Yeah. That's, what yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. You know his net worth if you type it in? Type it in real quick. Dana, type it in. Dana White's? Dana White's net worth. You were not gonna, you're going to be shocked by this. It's going to be like $200 million. Because it's all going to be in assets. It doesn't matter. That's still your net worth. Mm-hmm. Dana White's net worth. Before or after smacking his wife. But <laughs> five hundred million. Yeah. Why would I be shocked? Why wouldn't you be shocked? But how are you not shocked by that? If he sold his business for almost eight hundred million dollars, eight hundred, and he still gets a paycheck for being a CEO, I assume he doesn't just do this for free. And you have other assets on top of all that. You have other stuff that. You are invested in. You're telling me that's all you got. Interesting. You know, I was. Yeah. I, does that surprise you at least a little bit? That yeah. surprised me when I seen it. That's why I'm saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I would expect the number to be higher for sure. Yeah, I was thinking at least at least around the. If I had to throw a number, I was thinking 800 million or something like that. Right. You know. Well, let's do this. Conor McGregor's net worth. Yeah, that's interesting too, Conor. I want McGregor you guys to guess worth. before I look. 300 mil. James? 700 mil. 200 mil. Jeez. Is that yearly? That's just his net worth. Oh, jeez. That man That's... blows money. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's investing in shit. That's a horrible. That's almost like Mayweather. He sold. Because he... Mayweather has no money. Remember how he took that last fight or his last real fight? Mm-hmm. And he's still going for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> what? Conor McGregor's worth. 200 million but he sold his the f- whiskey for the fighters usually sign a contract for a certain this is just for all UFC fighters the fighters usually sign a contract for a certain amount of fights for a fixed amount of money each time they step inside the octagon the three tiers are low medium and high with the lowest earning between 10,000 and 30,000 and the highest tier ranking between 500,000 and 3 million per fight that's not to mention usually they contract negotiate for the pay-per-view percentage too. If I'm fighting in a card where a guy is getting three million dollars and I'm getting ten grand, why am I there? Trying to build, man. You gotta remember Connor started from that same shit. Okay, but you know? but that's that's the fighter fight promoter stand. The fighters need to take into accord their own, like their own self worth. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much did you say his net worth was? Connor's two hundred. Just like I thought, he sold proper twelve for, for five hundred million. Yep. 
That's not to mention how much he made off that boxing match, which was what reported 150 million. Yeah, it was over 100. Yeah. Yeah, over 100. That tells me somebody knows how to party, and obviously he ain't got nothing. Because your net worth is literally all your assets. It isn't. If you type in um, your boy Elon Musk, it's gonna tell you because he's what the top three richest. Like it keeps fluctuating, there, yeah. right? It's to tell you top three. That's all his assets. He doesn't have a four five billion, billion dollars, dollars laying yeah. somewhere. It's everything he owns. That's where that. That's where. So that tells me that Connor didn't invest his money. He doesn't own a bunch of shit. Right. With it, he blew it. But regardless. On a little bit more. on uh, again on hush money. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe maybe seriously. Yeah. So did Dana White too. Oh. Can't just be out here smacking people left and right. Hey, did you guys see? I haven't seen him out publicly as much. Have His pants still ain't putting nothing up there. But have you seen people calling out power slap? No. Oh uh, man! So remember when we were talking to John Kennedy? Yeah. And we're like, I seen the guy with his face all out to here. Yeah. I got to see a picture of this face healing. And there's like indents. Like it's, it, it looks like the dude belongs on the, what's that zombie show? The walking dead. Like that dude, just <laughs> that dude needs oh to be God. on that show. And, yeah. uh, apparently somebody got, I haven't got to watch the episode and I don't know if there's another Kennedy on there. So John, I don't want to say it was you. But I was Googling the first episode and there's like people, you can't have that on there. This is this is ridiculous. Somebody got smacked so hard that they woke up from getting smacked, didn't know where they were at. I believe it. And said, why am I here? And Jeez. I was like, John, if that's you, uh, maybe call in, clarify. I don't know. <laughs> I still want to watch it myself, but streaming services, fuck Dana White. <clears throat> Right, not exactly, <laughs> not exactly, not exactly simple to get to. Yeah. Right. Screw Dana White. Sorry, that's Ooh. the third time that. There you go. So you're not trying to get a sponsorship by Dana. Unless it's. Would you take like we would take like we were making fun of like the golfers? You would take live money right now, right? All day. Oh. <laughs> Blood oh. money. <laughs> I got one for you. Everybody wants to bitch about all these people signing with live. I watch these guys golf at the American uh, American uh, Express Open. That's a credit card. That's a that's a bank that takes homes from very many Americans every year, and we're okay with that. Ooh, okay. I'm just saying. Uh, right. I didn't see them actually like literally kill people, but yes. What you, you know? Ooh. 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 Okay. You, you don't know. Put me my place. Put me my place. I'm good. How many of those people uh, aren't here no more? Right. They lost their house. Or are stuck so in So they weren't the ones that, <laughs> so they're not the ones that physically pulled the trigger. Okay, Hillary Clinton, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, all right. That's a pretty good point. I got to get you there. Uh, I know this one bugs Danny a lot. That's why I had to put it in here. here Aaron Rodgers says he's open to reworking his deal if... He plays in 2023. Rogers has 59.465 million guaranteed if he plays next year. He only counts, believe it or not, only 33 million against the cap, which is about the same number that Kirk does too. I like to put it in the sense of our quarterback. Yeah, and the same as Matt Stafford too. My our quarterback was better, so this year. Yeah, this year he definitely was. He was. I'm not wrong. Fuck you. Fuck you. Muted the mic of yeah. Miles over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, he came out and said that. What was it the day after Green Bay said, yeah, we'll look at exploring outside of the NFC. So. <laughs> what? I want one. Exploring quick. trades. So we're, outside so we're going to do NFC. something here. Prob probably starting Friday with kind of tell what, time, uh, what we have for time. But we're going to take, we kind of numbered them down. Be about 20 in the 20s uh, teams. And we're going to each take a team and we're going to run GM off of it. Like what we would do with that team. Now, what I'm getting at with that, Danny, for my question right now, this has nothing to do with GM. But if you had to stick it. Aaron Rodgers, retire Packers 
another team next year, where are you going? You have to put your money on it. Right now, I want it way early another in the team. process. Another team? Another team. You got another one on top of your head? Think about it while he answers. Retire. 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 I'll give you your three hundred million. Just go sit at home. One hundred fifty. Uh, we're gonna call it three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double up. He's saying retire. So who's gonna have to answer the second phase there, Danny? Yeah. One that sticks out that yeah, that would just sit, like it would almost be perfect if he did play for. If I'm the Packers, I pay your full contract. You retire. I don't know, put him on the spot. We ain't talking if about Tom that. Brady doesn't go to the uh, to Vegas, Aaron Rodgers goes there. Hands down. There it was. I kind of did a volley there. I didn't even mean to. Devontae Adams. They have other receivers. They have a tight end. They have a running back if, if they bring him back, which they will. If they got him, of course, you're going to bring back the best assets you can, right? Yeah, because here's the thing. He's not going to be able to have another receiver like they've had they've had money to pay another receiver obviously yeah Devontae's gone right they've yep. got the space right now they haven't and receivers just don't want to go there because of the weather and everything yeah. but that's what he wants and that's why he would be willing to restructure is to bring somebody else in which is what he's hinting at i don't but, think anybody's gonna bite but they won't do it anyway like when like what you're telling me that's where i'm with you they kind of just green bay always sticks to their game plan no matter what Right, right. I don't know who. Like, I haven't looked at the free agent market very heavily in the wide receivers coming up. T. Higgins would be pretty damn intriguing, right? Hopkins. And who you know, you're going to go there as a receiver, trade. knowing Rodgers could be done. Now you don't know what his situation is, right? Yep. Um, you wouldn't want to sign a long term one, so maybe you make a trade for a DeAndre or something. But I doubt they would do it. Right. You know, they just never do. Right. I would lean towards. wants that love I would have to say another team too I'm actually with you I was going to say he just wants that love and he wants blah 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 blah. he'll stay with Green Bay but I think I'm with you if he doesn't retire it's another team he wants his attention right now that's what he's doing but if he wants a real shot at winning I we saw Green Bay's fall and I don't think that I don't think they're that close yeah, I don't. Either. I don't think they're like. I don't think they're one season away. They like they need those receivers to take one jump. I don't think they're there. The Lions, I think, are competing with them. Right? Yeah. I legitimately the think the Bears that. could be at the fucking flip of a if switch. If they hit too. all this right, yeah. right, and they have cap space too, the massive cap space and a draft picks and all this stuff lined up. And if you believe in Justin Fields, you have your pieces, right? Like yeah. if they hit it right, they could pass you overnight. I'm with you. I, 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 the team, the perfect one would be the Raiders. Yeah. The one, I don't think he. There's a few teams that they would have to be teams that believe that they have a legit shot. Like they're the quarterback away. They're the stud quarterback away. T. T. Higgins isn't a free agent until 2024. Okay. So but he, but he. He will be this year. Right. DJ Shark is too. See, that's a, a, that's more let's, let's rattle off the easy ones, right? So the Raiders, the Dolphins, and I say Dolphins, that with all due yes. respect to Tua right now because yep. of his issue. Um, the Colts think they're a quarterback away, and there's yep. some pieces there. Um, but then when you look at the rest of the AFC, I don't know, man. I don't think he'd want to go to Tennessee. Carolina, you you're higher on Carolina than me. Maybe if Sean Payton goes there, Carolina's a shot. Mm-hmm. Um, I do, uh, yeah, man. When you look at AFC, I think that's it, and that's the only place the Packers say they'll look or be willing to well, consider. AFC side, yeah, yeah. Okay. Raiders, Titans, Patriots, Commanders, Dolphins, Buccaneers, Forty Nine ers, Seahawks. I think I, I think I I think I went with the Seahawks last time we did this. You did. I, I chose the Seahawks, and that's just because it's going to be the, clo- this closer. This is more, to yeah, yeah. I get it. This is more whether you think he's actually going to be. Keeps talking, talking, talking. Eh. 
He needs That'd to be retired. This will be the last time I put it in there, though. For about, a while. like, him saying... No, I just won't put it in there. We're going to ignore it. Sort of, unless he literally says, I retire, that's what I'm getting at. But, like, I retire or breaking news, he gets traded. You know? Because we're not going to know... If it's not one of those two things, we're not going to know exactly. that he's going to play the season until maybe training camp. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Dude, camp. if he retires, do you think we can get him and Chris Collins worth the trade spots? I I mean, I hate them both, but. I'd rather listen to Brett. I, I'm with you. I'd rather listen to. Rogers. Uh, Rogers. Yeah. Than Chris Collinsworth. Right. Yeah, Collinsworth's so bad. That voice and what he rides. That'll be. <laughs> well, Tom Brady's there too. And then, gentlemen, my final one. Guardians manager Terry Francona's scooter gets stolen in Cleveland. A person who, by the way, this is more like a... Hold on, hold on. Start over. His scooter? No. The whole thing. Should I say this? The Cleveland Indians, formerly known, now they are the Guardians. Okay. Manager Terry Francona. The manager. The manager. Okay. Team manager. Scooter got stolen in Cleveland. The manager. Yeah, like, for, like he, the GM. No, the, no, this he's basically the coach. The coach. Oh, baseball's oh, dumb. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. My baseball's all the manager, but it's yeah. the coach. But he usually cruises around Cleveland on this when during the regu- like the season, like when it's nice out. Evidently, like waves at, you know, Cleveland. He, I don't know, why he's shaking his head to nice. Cleveland population stuff like that as he's whipping by. But now his scooter got stolen. The reason why I bring this up is what you sold a scooter for. F- fuck, top notch is maybe five, six grand, maybe, right? Brand new. In Ohio, a person who steals a motor vehicle is guilty of fourth degree felony, punishable by six to 18 months of incarceration, and a fine up to five grand. Man. That's intense for stealing a scooter, bro. Right. You know what? If you're a Cleveland fan, though, I get it. Like, I don't know how many times I saw videos this year of Francona basically falling asleep, and fans had to yell at him to tell him what to do. Like, there were times where, based on the uh, point in the game where you could score and tie or take the lead, whatever, somebody get a hit, and it's like, okay, we need a pinch runner now to advance the bases here. He wouldn't do anything. And so fans would be yelling at him, and he'd be, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. We're going to let's switch this out. Like, so many times I saw videos of that type of shit. So they're probably just fed up. It's worth it. I'm going to fucking prison, but at least I get to bug him or whatever the hell. Man, man. That's, I hope that's wow. the reason because I'm pretty sure, unless I'm missing something in this law when I looked it up, it's the same charge if you would have stole a Lamborghini. It doesn't matter. It's just I'm, Grand Theft Auto. I'm choosing a scooter every time. Shut up. <laughs> You're going to notice a scooter or a Lamborghini. Maybe not a Lamborghini, but you can go get yourself a, what is that called? Like a Ducati? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you right now, you're all going to shit. Harley, at least. You're all going to shit when you find out Exhibit took it to pimp my ride. <laughs> Forgot to communicate it. They haven't caught the person yet, right? No. Well, maybe, you know, to your point, who's going to notice that? This cat goes into his scooter garage, changes shit up. I don't know what you do to modify a scooter, right. but then he goes back out. Nobody's going to notice. Way Nobody's harder to do that notice. with a vehicle. Yeah, right. We got to make it look old. Get rid of the VIN number. Right. Throw a couple boom, stickers boom. on there. They won't be able to tell the difference. There's all kinds of red scooters Somebody, flying around. There goes a guy on a scooter. <laughs> Somebody, this is like Fast and the Furious style. All uh-huh. these scooters roll out of this garage and the cops start chasing all the scooters around. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, Danny, how funny would that be if they went back and redid all those movies with scooters? Oh, dude, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They've got them looking like they're going so fast and then they pan out and they're like, scoot, 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 like the one where, Like the one where the cops out there and he radar in the uh on tokyo drift yes. and he's like well i'm not going after him here goes a guy on a scooter 35 Just fucking 30 <laughs> oh we gotta go get him <laughs> <laughs> got a burner just roll through a stop sign get All that right. son of a you, bitch you think that's funny now need for speed 95 is gonna come out and it's gonna be all of them <laughs> canes and scooters baby canes and scooters man uh, that's what I had, gentlemen. I do have a strange law for you. Strange law time, baby. What you got? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here we go. I gotta tell you something before you do this. Hey, I'm even. I'm good with it. <laughs> so, 
I come home today. Tell uh, me a story. Oh, uh, I did. So I come home today, right? This wasn't after last night. Three seconds. Oh, or this was seconds, and this is different than the thirty-second story. Thirty-five. And thirty-five and, 40 and done. Thirty-five and done. Okay. My mom listens. <laughs> Twenty minutes, mom. Twenty. Look at him stick his chest out. Yeah. Twenty. You didn't raise no quitter. Yeah. That's my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. So I, I come home, I let the dog out, mm-hmm. I get in my normal spot on the couch, lay down and relax. And here comes my daughter. And she's like, Dad, I took I took five tests and I only missed two on my test. I'm like, Oh yeah? And she goes, Yeah. I spelt delivery wrong. And she goes, Yeah, and she goes, I spelt pancake wrong. I was like, What'd you spell? Pancock? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> dude! And I'm in tears. Rhodes is in tears. She's like, "Daddy, I wrote Pancock. I don't. What's so funny about Pancock?" And I'm like, "Rhodes, you nailed it. Yeah, I don't care what your teacher said. You nailed that word." Oh my god! She, she goes, "Dad, it's spelled with an A, not an O." <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like, all right, Rhodes. Okay." I was like, "Hey, seriously. All right, we we got to be done with this joke. You know, like I'm in tears. She's in tears. She doesn't know what she's talking about." I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it that she doesn't know right now, right? Right. <laughs> uh, so Jessica comes in. <coughs> Mommy, I spelled Pancock. <laughs> what? Did you spell what? I was like, yeah, just add syrup to it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just add syrup to it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's just, Don't do that. It's just so Don't innocent, though. Uh, I loved it. That's awesome. That is good. Uh, I don't even know how to beat that now. Jeez, Miles. You gotta love when the wife comes in at the perfect time. And of course, that's immediately what they say. <laughs> you think you've got it cleared up. Like, okay, we're done with this. But no, it never is, dude. No. Uh, Man. Can never handle it on my own. <laughs> West Virginia, gentlemen. West Virginia. According to the state constitution, it is unlawful for anyone to own a red or black flag. That's funny because in West Virginia, back in the day, a lot of their flags were red and black. Why was that? The Confederate flag. I'm like, I don't know if they call that blue, but it looks black as shit. Okay. Like, okay. Navy blue. Yeah. What is that? That is like a dark blue. Isn't it? Yeah. I think it is a dark blue, but I s- it's still I mean, you, that is, yeah, that's interesting though. I don't know. Cause you got, that's probably why, right? Well, there. it's that whole Southern section where, you know, you got West Virginia, Kentucky, uh, Alabama, Georgia. I mean, no, it's pretty obvious though. Hey, the reason is cause they're all Crips over there, right? Blue flag hanging out the backside. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Catch oh, me. Yeah. Only on the left side. How do you do it? Yep. Catch me, catch me walking on the, yeah, that's my. <laughs> I don't know the words. I just know that part. Do you guys ever learn how to crip walk, by the way? You no, know? man. That I, shit would be sweet. I'm hey, not that gifted. Dude, let me tell you. Hold I on. Grew- Challenge accepted for Miles. By you, you have two weeks to learn how to crip walk for the podcast uh, and for your TikTok. And get Rhodes to do it with you. Yeah, so we both get shot up. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. What? Everybody you, does it. You don't. Th- I'm pretty sure bl- people that are in blood actually fucking do the crip walk. Yeah, man. It's a the dance. Shit's... Yeah. I am no longer affiliated with this Bloods and Crips. <laughs> You're rocking all blue the more I look yeah. at this motherfucker. Yeah. Matter of fact, if anybody fits, it's you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. Where were you going with this? Oh, man, I had it. Oh, see, so you're talking about me doing the crip walk. Well, let me tell you something. Back home in Kentucky, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, I went to school with kids that would uh, decide to wear same color clothes every now and then. Let me. We're, we're a very r- rural farm town. Like I hate that word, too. Rural. Like, well, that's... I don't even know what it means. I just know it's what we were. Country. Yeah. Yeah. Country. Yeah. 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 Is there so wrong to just say that? Yeah, well, okay. Country. Yeah. So we're country kids, right? We lived far enough from Cincinnati that didn't really have a spill into our community, 
But man, were we some gangbangers, dude. We had motherfuckers crip walking every day in the school. We had guys wearing blue all the time. <laughs> we had guys wearing red. They're throwing down in the hallways. Over here. And I'm like, what are you guys fighting over? And they're like, man, you wear that color. I wear this color. I'm like, yep. Because that Farmer things, John really gives a fuck. Things do not type into your phone and Google search. Uh, many things, James. <laughs> well, there's one in particular because we were looking up that? a story. Daddy, Daddy, I think that's the one. Don't look that one up. No, Daddy. no, no. Remember. No, that was one too, but. So James informs my wife last night that the FBI is watching my phone. <laughs> because remember when we were in here and we were talking about something. You're talking about gang banging like 14 year old or something like that. Oh, yeah. The way guy. you asked the question. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. It was not good. Yeah. yeah. It was not good. It's <laughs> how you worded and it. I, and I, and I, I, yeah. And she's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. 14 year old getting gang banged. Whoa, Jeez. whoa, whoa. Jeez. Well, yeah, I, somehow that got typed in my phone. I can't remember if you, like, said video or something. It was uh, video. But, it, but no, but it was a video going but, around. Right, but I can't remember what it was. It was like, for hazing or it was some for shit. Hazing. But how you typed it is not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Danny, why the yeah. fuck you typed that in my phone, dude? <laughs> yeah, now, now, I, now I got, every time, we had to block your identity from 27 <laughs> people today. I'm like, oh, man, you're doing your job. You're doing your job, phone. No doubt. Uh, uh, that being said, do you guys have it make sense? Or do you want me to tell the one? We, we skipping the conspiracies now, too? What, we don't get to do a conspiracy? We can do that on Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can do a bigger well, one on Friday. Yeah, we ate up a lot of time tonight with, with Update Tuesday. Technology update night, man. But say, save it for Friday. Oh, you're fine. I'm we got. Thinking. I want you to. We got a few we can bring up. Yeah. Something. So I got one for you if you don't have one, Miles, which you'll appreciate. Jimmer has a list. We're gonna go over. I here. do not have one. So, a coworker of ours, and I cannot say the name because I will show him at least that much love. Oh, this is. The, yep. Do it. This man tells me this isn't gonna be a very long one. So. Man tells me, uh, I can't remember why we got in the conversation. We're all up in the dryer room and can't remember how we got brought up. We're probably talking something sexual of some kind, right? Oh, no, we talked about this. Not pointing at whatever, but. Like what? Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, we were talking about the this thing where there's dudes liking to get pegged nowadays. So that's a thing, I guess. Don't know why. Pretty disgusting. But whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know? But <laughs> this guy's like, oh, man, it reminds me. I was going to tell you something. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Us talking about a dude getting pegged is what strikes your memory up. Yeah, my attention. I'm listening. He's like, whoa, whoa, it's not quite like that. He's like, and then it dawned on him. He's like, you're on a podcast. Don't be saying this. But yeah. So he tells me, he's like, me and my wife are going. We're having a good time, adulty time. Going, 35 seconds uh, more more than that by the sounds of this story but okay he's going to town having a pretty damn good time and on one of his out pumps we'll put it and one of his slam backs he accidentally hits the other one and goes in some okay yeah his wife jumps up not really screams she said he said not, not really screams but jumps up no fuck no Runs over to her top drawer of her dresser, pulls out a massive dildo, goes up and tries to jam it up his ass. And now I thought he was joking in the aspect of like, like how bad could that be? She's like, oh, yeah. She's like, he's like, no, I literally had to like battle her off. Like I had to tighten my ass cheek so fucking hard just because an accident. He about got turned into a human popsicle over an accident. <laughs> I got turned into a tax paying citizen by an accident. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Dude, that I just makes me think how many times has this like somebody taken this sound in like different videos where <laughs> it's that uh that it's a girl and she's like yelling at her boyfriend, husband, whatever, and she's like, I I I fucked you with my dildo and you came all over the place and you <laughs> loved it. You, you loved fucking it. loved it. He's like, You weren't supposed to bring that up anymore. That's exactly what makes <laughs> right. me think about that, man. Or uh or how about the one I sent you guys the other day? 
Which one? You, have you heard of that new sex position? Which one? Called the dolphin. No. <laughs> I didn't see this. When you're hitting it from behind, then it accidentally slips in. She goes, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. I didn't see that one. Oh, I cried so hard when I see that. So. Uh, you know who I blame for all this stuff is, uh, I don't know his actual name. I just know Stifler. He's in it road trip where he goes in to donate and uh, he learns the faster way to mm-hmm. donate some sperm. And yep. then at the end he comes back. <laughs> Not one. Did I say? Did I say two? Better, Better make, make it, it three. three. That's where this all Mil- started. Miles. Milking the prostate. Yep. Oh yeah, he learned that from uh, Deshaun oh, you know, Watson. Oh, you know exactly what it's called. No, he learned that from Deshaun Watson. I see why he only why it was yes, only thirty five seconds. Now it's seconds. making sense. Making okay. sense. If you don't think <laughs> about it, <laughs> absolutely. Don't, don't. Oh, you're right though. The Deshaun. The brush over is that uh, how like most of those stories are going? Yeah, I'd have to crazily brush over. It's only wrong if you think it's wrong. Yeah, do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Don't yuck my yeah. yeah. Don't yuck my yeah. Yeah, but if it's wrong, I like that saying. Yeah, I learned it at a sex party. Did you? <laughs> like where they sell like sex toys? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> okay. like. Oh my god, you gotta be. Oh my god, that was we not. We talk about pegging. Was, no, like they were. <laughs> No, she's like selling some things and she's like, hey, I just want you guys to know if I show something, don't don't yuck my yeah. I'm like, ho, ho, ho. What does that mean? <laughs> don't yuck my yeah. And she goes, well, you see, if I'm into butt stuff, yuck. Exactly. That's my yeah. That's what she did. Right. No, that's no. Yeah. But then that's as soon as, it's, that's contagious. And I see what she's getting at. As soon as if we're in a group and we're, let's say let's say even three out of ten people. No matter what the conversation is, we all like we all kind of do that, but nobody knows. No matter what this, no matter what the thing is, I'm not mm-hmm. talking about sex. I'm talking about anything. And then all of a sudden, the other seven or a, or one out of the other seven say, "Ugh, yeah." Then those other fucking f- those other six are gonna be like, "Yeah, ugh." And then all of a sudden, the other two that were thinking about it were like, mm, "Yeah, mm, never mind. I'm not gonna be yeah, the weird never one." Mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like when actually in reality. It's probably even more than the thirty percent in the first place. Yeah. Kind of comes back to the story that I was shocked about this particular person. Even that's how I know that every woman masturbates. I'm telling you, it's not. A, it's every woman, grown woman, masturbates. I you have to like. I would not have. Been I don't. The Bible tells me not to. I said every woman. You don't know. What first I am. off, you don't know what I am. I don't know. You are hundred percent correct. Don't assume. And I'm not assuming. Joy. You are a thousand percent correct. We kind of do know Fick Fap. You just. Bible tell that's a lie, too. I don't look at it. <laughs> okay. But regardless, makes sense if you don't think about it. Did you just say I sinned twice online? Oh, God. Sorry. Fick Fap is, uh, is that Genesis in the Bible? Where's that at? No, it's actually the first page of the Creator. <laughs> 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 On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and start to wrap her up. So if any of you beautiful people out there enjoyed the show, be sure to like, subscribe, share the whole nine yards. It really helps with the reach, and it's going to help big time with the website once this get once we get this bad boy up and running. Yeah. But, Jimmer, where's the podcast available? Anywhere and everywhere uh, podcasts are available. Uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and... YouTube. YouTube, 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 YouTube. Let's go, baby. And Miley, let's say I'm out there right now. I'm a three gigster. I like to listen to this shit because we're funny as hell and we know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. I want you guys to tell one of my stories, right? Mm-hmm. How, how, like, uh, how do I do that? Well, you slide into the, a three gig sports DMs there, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And you tell us a story, a little story about something, a little bit of something about nothing. And we're going to tell it. And we're going to have a good time telling it. And, you know, every now and then might have a little reward for you. Let's Ooh. go. I like this. You know what? I and hope I'll that tell encourages you, what, you guys to do it. The dirtier, the better, though. The dirtier, the better. Right. Or the more conspiratorial, maybe, mm-hmm. the better. Tell me about something with the, with the hot Cheetos. Do-do-do-do-do. That was a good one. Or tell me how COVID came about when we were going to storm Area 69. 61. Oh. I like to add seven, eight more onto that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he said. Absolutely. Or is it 51? 
It's area 51. It's area 51. Now I don't know. Is it 69? It's 51. 59. It's 51. It's 51, bro. That's a conspiracy See, that, in it's itself. No, you're throwing me off now. All right. Danny. Exactly. Danny. This is why you can tell us your story. We would See? Fucking going to forget names anyways. Yeah, true that. We're getting out of control, folks. Shoot us some stories. We like to talk shit. We'll tell it for everybody to hear. But we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This is 3 Geek Sports. We out.